combo. We've not long arrived, so we need to get our bearings. HG Jardin de Menorca. I don't think that's pronounced right at all. But anyway, it's beautiful, although they have had lots of storms and rain here today. But the sun is shining at the moment. It is seven o'clock at night. It's really humid. And I think it's still probably about 24, 25 degrees. But so far, it's very, very pretty, very picturesque, as you can see, very, very green. And there's gonna be lots to show you the next couple of days. But as it stands at the minute, just going to go and get the essentials like milk and water. Just checked into our room, but haven't unpacked or done anything yet. So we're just gonna go and buy the essentials from the shop, find a nice restaurant, have something to eat, couple of drinks, chill out, early night for our first night, and then we can go exploring tomorrow. I'm here, I'm on holiday. I can't believe it. Where's Paul gone? Paul? Hello. So how blessed are we to be waking up in the beautiful area of Sonbo on the island of Menorca. Lush, green, pretty, the accommodation is gorgeous. This is going to be fun. Hadan Menorca Hotel, I think it's pronounced like that. We have a superior junior suite, which is a beautiful, very large apartment with beautiful doors onto a patio and another set of double windows overlooking the other properties. So if you look over there, that's exactly what ours looks like on the other side. I think there's a block of about six or seven. It's very, very picturesque. We've got a nice little lounge area into a kitchen area with all the facilities that you need. That's the television that I'm sure is not going to be switched on while we're here. And then we also have a very nice bathroom that has a very powerful shower. It's a bit like going through the jet wash, quite frankly. So we have everything we need. It's beautiful, modern and clean. Well, I'll try and keep it clean while I'm here, obviously, but no housework for me this week. Humid hair. It's Tuesday morning. Good morning. It's another beautiful, beautiful day. We're off to go and get a car today. We're going to hire a car and discover all these. Well, we're going to start to discover some of these apparently magnificent beaches I was telling you about in last week's video. Apparently, I ain't seen nothing yet. Paul has been here a few times, so he's quite familiar with it all and 
apparently I'm in for a treat. So, let's get this car and let's go exploring. So, talking of the beaches from last week, we're going to try and see, I'm not going to see all of them I don't think, we've got the car for two days, so we're going to try and see as many as possible, this is the first one we've come to, and this is called Cala Galdana, and it's beautiful, it's so beautiful, as you can see the water is crystal clear, it's like gin clear, it's the most beautiful little cove with the white limestone rocks. It's just glorious. But actually, if any of you know the film Evil Under the Sun, I think it was done in the early 80s with Peter Houston off it's in Agatha Christ Christie Poirot. This looks very much like where they filmed a lot of it. I could be wrong, but it's, it looks almost identical to me. I love that film. I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be surprised if I was wrong. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me show you some more. For the faint-hearted but we then took a beautiful walk through the forest to get to the most beautiful beach of Kalamitjana and wow when I got round this corner well to say I was slightly blown away was an understatement
Away from the beaches, we then visited the beautiful Citradella. What a sight to behold. Glorious food, we had a lovely lunch, and of course a lovely cappuccino as well. We people watched for a bit, and well, just took in the most beautiful scenery and the most magnificent church as well. stopped for coffee, cappuccino, I've got to get my coffee in, got to have my coffee even though I'm here. The beaches are beautiful, they are beyond my expectations and they are probably better than the reviews I was looking at for them. Um, we found some really, really lovely places but I think when the sun's on them they're even more picturesque and more beautiful and you get all the different colours of the blue and the sea and what have so we're going to see um, whether we want to hang on to the car for a bit longer. But this is only day one of having the car. We've got it for two days. We'll see how we get on. So I've lost Paul again, but he has gone to get me a coffee. So I'm just going to sit here and enjoy. I can't tell you how blessed I feel. So lucky to be having this break. And now I'm here. I knew that I really needed it. I can really feel it. But I've been so relaxed from the minute I got here and I'm absolutely loving it and I can't recommend this place enough. It's beautiful. B-A-U-T-F-O. highlight of the week was definitely this restaurant called Andres. Wow, what spectacular meals we had. We discovered it on the first night that we were actually there, but we went there following reviews we had seen on TripAdvisor as to how good it was. We were blown away. We did try a couple of other restaurants, but one night we actually walked out of one restaurant. The food was so poor and we ended up going back to Andres. We then spent most evenings here. There was such a selection on the menu 
absolutely superb, divine food, cooked to perfection every time, and I can highly, highly recommend it. We have put a review on TripAdvisor about it. If you're ever in the area, this is the place to be. But be warned, it's so popular and so good, you do have to book in advance. But it was amazing. of a moment here down on Sonbo Beach. It's the penultimate night of the holiday and I can honestly say we have had an absolutely beautiful, beautiful week. It's been gorgeous. The weather's been a little bit mixed but on the whole when the sun has come out, which has been quite frequent, it's been beautifully warm, absolutely gorgeous. It's quite humid. I can highly, highly recommend the island of Menorca. It's a beautiful place to come on holiday. It's very suitable for families, suitable for all ages. I mean, we have seen lots of young families. We have seen older people, middle-aged people, elderly people here. It's immaculately clean is the other thing that I have noticed as well. And I really like that. Everywhere you go is so clean, there's no litter. There's lots of new restrictions, I think, and I think it's probably post-COVID predominantly. Um, but things have changed a lot since I was last abroad, which was only sort of four or so years ago. If you are wearing a swimsuit or bikini, you can't walk around in a swimsuit or bikini unless you are on the beach. So you have to be covered up. So there's lots of um, differences. And I think post-COVID, there's also lots of um, places that have, well, I don't know whether they're struggling, but there seem to be lots of places that aren't doing as much as, as much live entertainment in the evenings, for example. Well, there's a few karaoke bars and a couple of bits and pieces, but I think live music seems to have taken a bit of a hit. So we haven't seen much live entertainment. However, it's also quite early in the season as well, because it's only the start of June, really. So it could be that not a lot of that has has picked up too much um, but it's been a glorious holiday it's been well needed Paul's had a lovely time it's been great for us to be on holiday together and and spend some quality time together as well and all in all it's been pretty perfect and I would highly recommend anybody coming to this island and I would certainly come back again so I'm going to go and finish my drink for our penultimate evening here and enjoy this absolutely beautiful sunset. So here we are having our moment on the sunbed this week and what a beautiful week it has been. <clears throat> it is our last day here on the beautiful island of Menorca and it's been absolutely glorious i think we've done everything we said we wanted to do and see and everything we wanted to see but we've had a good mix of resting and exploring and enjoying every minute of every day it's been great and it's ticked all the boxes i wanted to tick and i'm sure it has for paul as well it's <clears throat> it's been a little bit mixed on the weather but it hasn't at all stopped us from doing anything we've chased the sun about and um, it's been consistently warm it's been really beautiful actually and I just feel very 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 blessed to have had this week to recharge the batteries and <clears throat> to be able to come away and feel comfortable that mum's being looked after at home that she's absolutely fine clearly she's not in this week's video obviously but she will be in next week's video and hopefully i'll be able to show you um a bit of a reset video next week and i'll just show you how i reset everything coming home from holiday got lots of obviously unpacking and cleaning and washing to do so we'll do a bit of that next week i'm sure the invisible chef will be back next week as well because he's had a week off can't allow him to get away with it any longer he's got to get back to work so i'm sure there'll be something lovely to show you in next week's video there as well but until next week i hope i really hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog it's been an absolute joy to make it for you i've loved every second of it i am going to enjoy my last day here on holiday and 
beautiful, beautiful island. So until next week, stay safe, stay in the boat and keep doing all things good. And I will see you on my return, same time, same place, next Sunday. Look forward to seeing you then. See you later. Bye.